So today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be working on the exhaust and getting rid of the catalytic converters. Now you all don't know this, but I actually deleted the cats on this car before. I actually filmed a whole episode on it. But you all never saw the video because I didn't put it out. And that's because the exhaust sounded absolutely terrible. I even left their stock resonators in and just took the cats out, but it was so loud, so raspy. It was literally embarrassing to drive. So the next day, I actually had to redo my whole exhaust because I was driving three hours home and I was not driving like that. So that is why my exhaust is really janky and I'll show you that now. So some of you have probably noticed this and the exhaust is actually currently held up by a ratchet strap and is actually sitting about two inches off the ground. It is really terrible. Now this is because I didn't have much time so I literally just threw the exhaust together, didn't even line anything up really. I just pretty much cut and just put the cats in and welded. The welds are terrible but today we're going to fix this and do it right. Now to do this, I'm going to be using two glass packs. Now these are made by Flotec, they're literally $20 a piece on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. And if you're not familiar with glass packs, what they are, mufflers, resonators, pretty much the same thing. But they're filled with ceramics which deaden the sound and gets rid of a lot of the unwanted vibrations and restfulness that comes with like straight pipes and things like that. But that's enough talking for now, we'll pull the car in the garage and get started. Now the first thing I have to do is remove the exhaust and then I'll be able to show you exactly what my plans are. Alright so here's my exhaust now. Right here are the catalytic converters. They are what I deleted the first time and replaced with straight pipe. And these are the stock resonators. I left these in place. But even with those, it still sounded really rough, really raspy. So this time, I'm going to replace it with the glass packs. Now I'm just going to cut up here and down here. It's a pretty simple job and it should come out sounding pretty decent. Alright, so I got the first glass pack done. I did have to add a little bit of exhaust pipe on the end just to make it long enough. But now I'm going to make the other one and then I can start chopping up this exhaust and then I can finally weld these glass packs in. So I've came across my first issue which is these are just slightly too big and I can't get the inlets close enough to be welded to this pipe. It's not too big of a deal. What I'm going to have to do is move this one slightly back to where it lines up with this and then I'm going to have to weld a pipe angled from here to there. No big deal. So I got everything ready to go. As you can see, I angled this pipe and it lines up seriously perfectly with that. I could not get better fitment. 
So now everything is ready to be welded. Well, finally, after a ton of work, the exhaust is done, so now I'm going to roll the car in and throw it on. So here's the exhaust and it fits absolutely perfect and I don't know if you can really tell on video but I welded everything at a slight upward angle just to give me more ground clearance. Also the exhaust comes out exactly where it should which arguably is the hardest thing to do when working on exhaust and no more ratchet strap and I seriously probably quadrupled my ground clearance so as far as fitment goes I seriously couldn't have done any better. Well the exhaust is finally done, I've been working on this thing for hours, I'm all greasy and dirty feels terrible but now I can finally pull the car out and hear how this thing sounds now it's like one in the morning and I'm in a pretty residential area so I'm asking to get in trouble but I'm gonna give it some rubs anyways and see how it sounds So that's the exhaust. Now I will do a full exhaust video on it soon enough, but I'm really tired. It's late. So now is not the time, but let me know what you guys think. I mean, I think it sounds all right, I guess. It pretty much sounds like it did before, but maybe more raspy, but I don't know. And I am going to be selling these catalytic converters for scrap. They're worth quite a bit of money because they're platinum. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And until then, guys.